Welcome to Hot Plate, the home of super easy and delicious food. My name is Claire Carato. And I'm Chef Bennett. Now, I have been here enjoying these, what do you call them? <laughs> Olives. Olives. I don't know how much you know that these have very uh, a lot of nutritional value. Mm. And not only are they super salty, but they add so much flavor to sandwiches, pastas, pizzas. Oh, Chef, what are we making today? Okay, so we're doing some, as you said, pasta. Yes. So we're going to do some Red snapper, mm -hmm. no? Pasta, red snapper, mm. pasta, red snapper pasta. Mm. Yes. And All some right. salad. Right. Go -go and for those who are joining us for the very first time, welcome to Hot Plate. Mm -hmm. We are glad that you're tuned in today with us because we're up for an hour of some delicious food. Now, every single recipe is online, meaning you can be able to recreate these meals in your very home and follow step by step. Mm. They didn't turn out the way it did just because you missed a step. It's very important that the measurements and the steps in which Chef and myself put out, uh, Chef and I, uh, put out are followed by you. Uh, so you can be able to catch every single recipe that's on Ebru TV Hot Plate YouTube just to see the meals that we prepared here before. Now already Chef Ndua sa Shamoto, but of course we do have a segment where we have you, our viewers, joining us on set and showing us some of your recipes that you know and love to make in your kitchen. We also have very talented and you know artistic uh, business people, doctors joining us in the kitchen and cooking with us as we get to learn how their journey has been. Mm. And chefs as well. I feel like I'm always so excited whenever there's a chef coming mm. in and showing us a recipe. It's always such a blast. All right, now Chef um, Bennett, we have our water going on there. What's that going to be for and what do you need assistance in? That's for the pasta. Uh -huh. And maybe we should start with the salad. A the simple salad. One. A very simple one. A very simple one. Yeah. All right, so what do you want me to put in here? Okay, so just need you to tear some lettuce. Uh huh. And then I'll cut some onions. Okay. And maybe some tomatoes. All right, so we're going to tear some lettuce. Now, are these washed? No. Okay, so of course, guys, you want to make sure that you clean your salads. These are very sensitive, sensitive things, especially when you're serving guests and loved ones. And some of my favorite ways to clean salad is have a little bit of vinegar in warm, I mean, in, in boiled water, mm. not warm because you're going to kill <laughs> the leaves, in some fresh, cold, boiled water. Put some vinegar in there, wash it up, and then rinse it with boiled water again. This kills the germs. I mean, it's, it, just, it just cleans it completely. Mm. All right, so I'm going to give this a wash. And then what's going to be next, Chef? Okay, so we're going to dice some tomatoes, mm -hmm. uh, wedges, and then let's cut them in half. Need big chunks so you can get a bite into it. This, this is a simple one. And now, Chef, this is mm. the style, this is the size that you want. Yes. Can we cut, chop them up a little bit more? I'm talking about uh, this, like, want a bite into it. I'm right, right. Out. <laughs> so. mm. We. <laughs> We are always arguing in the kitchen here with Chef. I'm just like, well, that's the problem of having two cooks in the kitchen, honestly. <laughs> two chefs in the kitchen who just want it mm. in their own style. Uh, but do you guys have fights with your special loved one or with your sisters and brothers as to how you want your meal? That's like me and Chef right now, my, my brother over here. We're like, <laughs> no, we're cutting it a bit smaller and he wants the chunk size. All right. So we've got our lettuce washed. We've got our tomatoes. Uh, you said we're going to make an oil and, and we're going to put some olive oil in there mm, as well. I think we'll make a dressing. Gonna master double. Yes, so we're going to make a dressing. Thank goodness. Uh, I thought you were going to serve us just some salt and peppered um, salad. Yeah. And I was going to be very disappointed <laughs> yeah, about that. Yes, yeah, so yeah. we're going to make a simple dressing, which Chef will be showing us how to do so. Mm. Um, we're going to put onions in this. Yes. Now, how do you remove that oniony feeling when you're making salads with onions? And which is the best onion <laughs> to use? <laughs> <laughs> but you're using the white one yes, also helps. It helps, yeah, right? If you're using the red ones, uh, just, uh, just don't put too much. Don't put too much. Yep. All right, so I'm um, basically half. just finishing up these chops. I don't know why Chef has me uh, cutting them up further. Um, but no, 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 it's fine. I shall do it. I shall do it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to put this into a bowl. That's going to be our salad bowl. And of course, we've got that freshly washed, um, I love lettuce. And we're just going to roughly chop them. Now, you don't have to. Oopsie, I was about to cut myself. You don't have to. You can leave them as is and just drop them in there. But I've just roughly chopped them. Mm. You can tear them up, as Chef was telling me to do. That works as well. Um, and then what we're going to do with these pits uh, we're gonna use that for the sauce okay now do not throw that away and the reason we remove them is why chef I uh, don't want your salad to be Hiya. soggy Hiya. Oh, sorry just like our kitchen now <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah you don't want your salad to be soggy right so at least it's dry any 
because like uh, tomatoes tend to get spoiled very quickly no man don't put anger like in a salad bar in a kong like in like a semi semi fridge right. sort of way right even uh, under ice bars. or something yeah yeah and we had to be a raka sana yes so ni pot we were a place that's why we put it in the fridge ah. so is that why then ile nini ile kachumbari ya gonga you watamu kuliko hiyo ingine katika zuni keti kwenye sun you know kwenye jua ah so so yo ai yeah so you like like if it's like if you if you don't have a way to avoid that yeah. you just like maybe after 2 hours change you change the yeah. tomatoes yeah so you don't mind like it cost you yes it will bit. but now that thank you for telling me that meaning taku anatengeneza kachumbari basi asubuhi alafu kisha na ikandimu kidogo na ika side so that it soaks in all those flavors alafu yaribike kidogo sio ati yaribike unataka yaribike kidogo tu why oje onje ile 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 kachumbari ya gonga vile huko atamu kisha tengeneza nyumbani na ile tokea the same ina ina kwanga fresh manze ai kwangi fresh wametembea siku mzima hapo a whole day wametembea I break them apart. Yes. Yaani ukifanya vidole hivi chef. Ndio ndio. I thought to shikanisha. Ni kwa shikanisha kusumbua. So you want to open these but mm. I tend to like to soak. Do you need more onions or no. that is enough for you? I tend to soak mine in um some hot water. Mm. You want to leave that in hot water yes, in and the, some uh, salt. That usually desire. just does the trick. But in any case if you want to be like chef and just have that raw onion taste then you can go ahead and do so. <laughs> He didn't see me do that. Uh you can go ahead and do so. Okay, so a little bit of onions is going in there. Yeah. Um I love that. Um and then we've got some peppers as well. Yeah, now uh, this one's uh, going for the sauce. That's going yeah, into so the sauce. So we're just going to do our condiments now. Okay. Then we can finish up with the fish. Right. And the pasta. Now guys, when serving a salad, you see what we've done right now? Um is we've literally just put the condiments together which is the onions the tomatoes the lettuce you literally don't have to mix it up there mm. I usually love the presentation that you know have you ever been to a place that they've served the portions like the yeah. the portions of what's supposed to be in the salad mm. separate and then you do you, the mixing on the, on the for mix, yourself uh, because maybe some people don't like onions right so uh, you can pick out what you don't yes. like you know and I love when salads are done like that because then you can add your sauces mm. um even after and then you know just choosy it's like a, it's like a salad bar in a bowl yes. right <laughs> i love that all right now i see small little pieces do you need me to help you with anything else mm, yes uh season the fish All right. So <laughs> season, like that. Uh, season the fish <laughs> and what we have here is what beautiful fish is this chef? Uh that's a red snapper. It's a red snapper. Mm. Can you use any other type of fish for this recipe? Uh yeah, you can try with the tilapia. Yes. But tilapia tends to break. Right. So we're just going to use the red snapper fish. Look today. at that. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. And I like to gently just feel yeah. for any bones. You want to make sure that you have no bones there. Um and that's just by rubbing your fingers through. Um and you can literally feel if there's a little bone um sticking out. Now I do this because I've got kids so mm. I do not want to start rushing people to hospital Manze. because yeah. of a small yeah. little tiny fupa. bone. Right. All right. So um a little bit of salt goes on there. Um mm. what am I seasoning it with? Salt? The salt. Just salt, yes. no pepper? No pepper. Why? We we want to dry the fish. Want to dry it. Yeah. And by drying it, what do you mean by drying? Yeah, need like your fish, your chumvi to absorb your magic excess. Okay. Yeah. So let's put that and then let's put it kando. Okay. And then we can continue with the rest. All right, so I'm just going to leave that on that board. Now you want to be very careful when you're handling white meats. Um don't let them touch your your fresh salads. Make sure you wash your hands every single time. Um and then what's going to be next, chef? Mm, I'm going to start with the sauce, which is basically onions, the peppers, and some olives. Okay. Onions, peppers and olives. Mm. Now, you say sauce, but that doesn't sound so saucy. So, um please uh, demonstrate We have some for pasta us. Sauce ah, here. there you go. <laughs> so, what usually goes into that pasta sauce? Uh pasta sauce is just tomatoes mm -hmm. with some herbs inside. Yes. Oregano. And is it cooked? Have you made it? If we No, no, this it? is a uh, store bought. Store bought. But okay. you can make it yourself. Yes. But it takes like a good amount of like maybe 2 hours. Mm. Yeah, depending on how many uh, 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 the quantity of the sauce you're making. Why? Uh what do you mean why? Why does it take that long? Is it because you reduce? Yeah, you have to reduce, yeah. Because And when we say reduce, guys, we mean that you usually have to slow cook it yeah. in the herbs and the garlic 
a little bit of sugar. Um, you have to have a little Mama, bit of sugar yes, in there. Yes, it does. A little <laughs> bit of vinegar, a little bit of salt, some pepper, and the herbs are usually oregano, mixed herbs, some sage, some mm. thyme, always dried. And then you want to just add your tomatoes so in there. Yes, you cannot forget the garlic. <laughs> um, you can add a little bit of ginger if you please. Um, and then fry those with, with very sl small chopped onions. Mm. You can even blend your onions. That adds to the texture yeah, of your sauce, sure. right? And then cook that. When you add your tomatoes and you add a little bit of water with, of course, your seasoning, you want to slow cook it until it reduces to almost three, like almost three quarters of the liquid mm, is out, yeah. right? And that's when you have that sauce that is just give it perfect. Zito. Right, you, it's literally just very thick and just some goodness. All right, so we have the tomatoes there. We've got the pasta for the water. Should I put some salt in our pasta water? Yes, please. All right, sure. Um, so I'm going to put some water into, remember guys, seasoning is key when it comes to pasta. You want to make sure that you have seasoned your pasta water completely. Put all the salt in there. Don't be shy. Mm. Yes, the sea water. Bas. So you want it to be as salty as seawater. That's how you get that perfectly seasoned pasta. And literally seasoning the pasta becomes so much easier after that. Mm. Now for this re recipe, chef, we're using the taglital. See? Yes. All right, so the taglital is this. Um, I, I love these ones that are re really like rolled up. Mm. Um, it, it, it lies to you in terms of quantity, uh, <laughs> but it does <laughs> unroll and it ends up being quite an amount, right? Yeah. So should I dump them in there, wait for the water to boil? This is Kinogo too. How do you get that uh, soft simmer? Okay, so wait for okay. it to get to the soft simmer. Now, in any case, chef, can they use any other type of um, pasta? Yeah, spaghetti. Spaghetti can uh, be used. Now, for those people who uh, are gluten-free, da 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 da, they are always, I'm sure you've understood what I said by saying da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but eggless, eggless um, uh, pasta. pasta is also available. Can you use rice noodles for this recipe, Chef? <laughs> okay, that's interesting. I think, hmm, yeah, why not? You know, just as a nutajua. Yes. Maybe it's okay, maybe it's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's for you to fi find out. Because rice noodles tend to be very different mm. in flavor, so they yeah. require a lot of broth, a lot of sauciness in there. All right, so Chef, um, I, I can be seated now. Yes, now, please. tell me what is going to be the next step, and, and why is it that you... Uh, that pasta is so diverse when it comes to different recipes. Hey, where do we start? Yeah. Like, like. Ahusha. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, pasta is. Um, yes. You can do anything, anything. anything with it. Yani. I love it's the fact fun, that you, yani. you. Well, I disagree about it being like chicken. No, I'm just saying like chicken because. In chicken. terms of the, the recipes. Yeah. Like chicken. How many recipes do you have for chicken? Man? Yes, they are gazillion. Yeah, so same as pasta. And they That's keep what I coming meant. up. Okay, that yeah. you can be able to yeah, it's like it's very new versatile. recipes yeah. all the time. Mm. All right, guys, we are down to the cooking. We still haven't put the pasta in the boiling water. We have set our condiments for the salad. So let's jump to the kitchen hack segment. This is Hot Plate. If you're just joining us today, we're making some red snapper pasta, mm. which I would have done maybe shrimp. But... Oh yes, so it's, good to, it's good to it's good to it's good to change kidogo oh, to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so salad shamaliza. Mm -hmm. We've already cut our condiments, so we're just finishing up with the garlic, and then now we can start making the sauce. What do you think? Okay, um, now yes, I've had. Um, you know, funny thing is mm. I do enjoy my pastas a lot, but mm. I just, I love seafood, but I don't like, um, come on, a fish, uh, the one that you, it's on the bone, you uh, have to pick it and eat it, and I eat even the brain and the eyes. Yeah. But if it's like fish, fish, can you imagine I've never really enjoyed fish fillet? You serious? I just generally don't like, like it. Like, like you know, if I find it that it doesn't have enough flavor or I what? I enjoy but seafood, I mm. love seafood. Can you imagine? I love seafood, but, but I like... cannot stand fish. Like there's this place where they <laughs> no, used to weird. make... Right? There's this place uh, at the coast that they used to make the best seafood pizza in the world. You serious? Oh my gosh. Seafood pizza. Seafood pizza, but I always used to tell them, seafood pizza, mm. no fish. So all gone, shrimp only. Eh, shrimp, octopus, mm. calamari, mussels. They put every like, other they put cheese seafood. Of course, it's a yeah. pizza. But then no fish. That seafood pizza, I dream about it mm. till today. And the place shut down. 
Why? They had the best pizza. It's a business. Business is uh, hard, right? They had the best pizzas. It's down at the coast in Nyali. Um, I cannot mention which one it is, but honestly, if it was to come back, I would flood the gates there. <laughs> I would be like, I. that's the one place I'm uh, definitely going to go. It used to be my, my joint for good Italian food, uh, right? Okay, so now we have, um, if you're just joining us, welcome to Hot Plate. We are basically creating a very simple pasta dish with fish. Um, we always say that you can be able to use the simplest ingredients for the best meals ever and now we have our water remember that we're waiting for it to come to a boil Which and has. i can see that it has come to a boil mm -hmm. so chef do you want me to drop all of them mm. quarter three quarters right sure. and we have our pasta water ready there um, with a lot of salt remember we want it to taste it's come to a boil and you basically just want to drop that in there now chef do you normally put any oil in here mm -mm. no oil mm. why is for that me, no i don't why is that? That's just a preference thing because most people will do that. Yeah. I'll right. put it later on. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit more because we're very hungry today. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that's enough? It's up to you. All right, I feel like that's enough. Okay. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. That's enough, guys. So, Malizia, to you. Okay, that's enough. It's enough now. <laughs> All right, now, uh, guys, you want to measure according to how many people you're serving. If it's just for yourself, then you just want to cook a little bit, depending on how much you enjoy. Mm. And then we've got our oil there going on. I remember we had put our bread snapper, we had put some seasoning in there, just so that I'm a kausha. Yani, what happens to the salt is it soaks, soaks in that in water, excess. right? Yeah. And that's normally, especially when it has been a frozen cut. If it's a fresh cut, I, I feel like they don't have as much water. Yeah, yeah. In Zinayo? No, Bado. Bado, like mm. in Sikama, anyway. Sikama is frozen because right. of course you'll deforce, deforce it first. Okay, exactly. Right. Mm. So um, you want to just put the salt, and you can see that it's literally just sitting there, soaking in the, the seasoning as well, mm. and that just adds the flavor. There's nothing as bad as a bland piece of fish. Right. You really need to season it. All right, Chef, please explain to us what you're doing now. Okay, so just gonna add some onions first. And it's quite translucent. Right. Then we can add the peppers and finish up with the garlic. Uh-huh. And then, after that, we can just put it aside first. Okay. Fry the fish kidogo to. Mm. And then now we can cut it into cubes, mm -hmm. put it in the sauce. Right. And continue cooking. Okay. Yeah. All right, that looks good already. Like, the fact that you're going to put all these little, um, yeah, mm. pieces of flavor into yeah. the dish, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. At what point do you put the sauce? The sauce, mm -hmm. we'll put it once. We'll put the olives and the fish. Okay. Yeah. And so we're going to fry the fish in that? No, we're going to fry the fish candle. Separately? Yeah, but we're not going to do it for long. Okay, mm. now Chef, I can see that you've not waited for the um, onions to sweat out completely. Mm. You just want them to become light. The pan was already hot. hot. Ah. Yeah, so like, actually it does it at a raka. Ah, yes, I know. Just to make sure Yeah, and I also, I don't, I don't, I don't want to burn the garlic also. Ah, because you put garlic. Now, mm. garlic, why is it that people tend to, or rather it's like an, a law in the kitchen that you're not supposed to burn the garlic? Please yeah. explain. It has a... Um, it has a slow smoke point. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it burns quickly. It does burn quickly. Yeah. And it le leaves now a very yeah, yeah. horrible aftertaste Man's in your food. Like, like a matter stay like a garlic. Exactly. <laughs> so you do not want to burn your garlic because then you just spoil the essence of my very sweet <laughs> I love garlic. So don't overcook it and don't burn it because that the aftertaste is what you get. So usually when you're putting garlic, you want to make sure that even after you if you are brown, you may pick a zaidi. Mm. Yeah, like I feel like when you once it starts to brown, you're overcooking your garlic. Yeah. It should literally just touch the pan and release its aromas. Then you can add all the other condiments after that, right? Mm -hmm. okay, okay. So we've got some butter there. Okay. This um, we're gonna do something different with this. Uh huh. So we have our first fish. Will season we pour us in there? I hope so. <laughs> all right. Now remember, earlier on we had put the salt, so it's been sitting in salt, kind of like just soaking in all that moisture. Mm. And then now we've got a little bit of pepper that's gonna go in. And now, chef, explain to us what you're gonna do with that butter. Okay. This uh, this one to soften it, Kidogo. Yes. And then I'll show you. 
Okay. Because we're not doing anything with it now. Right. And this one to soften it. Very good. Okay. Now remember, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions as to recipes that you'd love to learn, all you have to do is go on to that number, which is on the screen. And let us know if you've got any compliments or complaints as to do with the recipes that you've been able to try out. We'd love to hear from you as well. In any case, have you any recipes you'd like to show our fellow viewers? Um, all you have to do is the same number, SMS us, and we'll have you on the show showing off your skills. All right, now Chef has basically made a simple salad. Uh, we've, got, um, we've got some pasta in the pan. We've got some uh, peppers, garlic, onions. Oh, smells amazing. And at this point is where we're going to sear our fish, yes? Yes. Ooh, yes, what a beautiful cut of fish. That is a large fish fillet, mm. right? You want to go solo? Hey, are you crazy? Yes, I can, easily. But without anything else. Oh, wow. Like I don't like potatoes, so without any condiments, uh, without any um, accompaniment. Sorry. Yeah, it's gonna huh? look like a good. It looks like a buttered fish. Buttered fish. And it's like we get to eat water. Yes. The buttered. We made like the previous buttered oh, yeah. fish. Yeah. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now um, that is going. We're getting a perfect sear. The purpose of this is to is to um, uh, coat it, cook mm. it, crispen it. And why I love this cut is because it doesn't break so easy. Yeah. It doesn't break like the other... Um, Flappy ones, you know? Huh? Yes, yes, it gets flaky, yes, but yes. it doesn't break it doesn't while break. you're cooking. Yeah. yeah. Um, and which is one that is monotonous for that? Mm. Tilapia. Notorious. Notorious tilapia. Mm. You have the to fillet. handle that fish hey. with so much care. <laughs> yeah, I love that we pick a oven. Yeah, because <laughs> there's a way you just flip it and it just falls apart. And you're like, I guess we're having some flaked fish what we're serving today. <laughs> All right, uh, so we've got our butter there. Now okay. show us what it is that you wanted to do. Okay, question. so uh, we have here some soft butter. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we're going to season it with some salt, mm. some pepper, some garlic powder. All of that? Yeah. Wow. Some herbs. Okay, some herbs. So that goes into the butter. Yes. Why? Because we're going to do that in the oven. Ah, wonderful. So it's gonna be like a layer of butter. Yes, yes. Some lemons. Yes. Yeah. So there's, there's something different and you okay. can do it both the same recipe and right. Mm. Okay, so um a little bit of herbs goes in there. Can I can I do the mixing? It looks like so much fun. So <laughs> all right. Karibu, karibu. Thank you. So what we've got here is you want me to put how many so basically these ingredients. I've got some paprika here. I'm gonna put that on top. I've got some black pepper that's going to go in there as well. I've got some garlic. A lot of it in there as well. <laughs> and then I've got some herbs that is going to go in there too. Um, we've got some mixed herbs there. We've got some oregano. And we've got some... Oh, wait. This is the mix. Oh, we've got some ro what, rosemary? What is this? That's thyme. Thyme. Mm. It's like little flakes of rosemary. Got some thyme going in there as well. Now, chef, can you use fresh herbs for this? Yes, optional. Optional. Yeah. So, usijali, right. kamauna, can use that. Yeah. Now, remember, guys, you don't necessarily need to season this. Why? Because we've already seasoned the fish, mm -hmm. the fish, the fish. <laughs> but you want to slightly, just a pinch, maybe, yeah. Yes. Just a pinch of that. Since we'll already go, seasoned it, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just a slight pinch will go right on top that you don't have your fish over seasoned, right? So we're just gonna give this a lovely mix right on top there. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. And this is gonna coat our fish and it's gonna cook and it's gonna just coat it with all these flavors and deliciousness. Honestly, I would, I would apply this on toast and put it in the oven. <laughs> yeah. And it would taste so good and then have some tomatoes lined up on mm. there and make a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful starter. All right, we've got that pretty much mixed up. Look at that, coated to perfection. Um, chef, you're putting some um, mafuta, uh, mafuta kwenye pasta. Yes. Why is that? Uh, I don't want it to kauka. Because mm -hmm. uh, pasta, of course, we tend to shikana kabisa. Yeah. So we're just gonna oil it kidogo, mm -hmm. then just leave it be. So, I need a plate. All right, so I'm gonna grab a plate for you, chef. And then we're going to plate the fish all right on there to rest. We're not done, yeah? Okay, we're not done. Yeah. 
Tunaona bado Jaiva. Ai Jaiva ndani. This one is the court here and it shake to court. I can still hear the sizzle of that fish. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. So we come back to our sauce. Mm -hmm. So we have here some olives. It's going to give them just a rough chop. Okay. This You're one. so lucky. I was looking for some sugar. <laughs> You're so lucky there's no sugar. <laughs> I'm going to dump a pinch of sugar in here. Anyway, we'll <laughs> sugar for our dressing, so. Yes, sir. Yay. <laughs> All right, now we've got olives going in yes. there. So just like a quick dice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's let it get heated up. And then here we have some cubes. Mm -hmm. As you remember, Klukotuna Tengen is, what's it called? The, hey. The sauce. No. Ah, uh, the um, uh, broth. Yes. Yes. So, you can do the broth way. You can do the broth way. You can also do this because it's gonna add to do gomaji. Okay. Not a lot. Right. Yeah. So we're just gonna add that. Let's crush Should them. Should I smear this on the fish? Not that one. Not that way. I'll show you. I'll show you. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, he had fun. You Oh, we're doing on the other one. Yeah. Oh, we're making two types of fish. Mm. Yay! <laughs> we're making two types of fish, guys. If you're just joining us, we're making. Two types of fish, some pasta and some sauce, which has got some olives and it's got some pasta sauce and so much flavor is being infused in the fish as well in terms of making this dry um, butter, which just smells so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And then we've got our um, lemon that we're going to incorporate in this as well. Mm. I'm just going to taste this butter. Where is it? What season? Oh, this I thought it was so like a chumvi. No, this is so <laughs> delicious. And yeah. of course, we've used the salted butter, so mm. it's going to be even better. Oh my gosh, this butter is just so good. I want to apply this on my bread. <laughs> Honestly. Okay. So, mm -hmm. once you make the shika, yeah. we're going to add our olives. Okay. And boom. There you go. Let's give it a quick stir. Mm -hmm. Then you can help me with the fish. You want this fish that we've cooked? Yes. Okay. So we come back right with the fish. Mm -hmm. There you go. Let's put it here. I put it there? Yeah. Oh, I don't put it in the sauce? No. Okay. I'm gonna cut it into pieces. pieces. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. I mean, it smells amazing. We've got the garlic, we've got the sauce. Um, little chunks of, of fish are gonna go in there and it's, I'm guessing that's gonna be the sauce for the pasta, mm -hmm. right? I'm very keen on knowing what it is that you're gonna use this butter from because from <laughs> the way I'm seeing it, I might just run away with some of it. <laughs> and the best part about this is you can easily be able to put that on any, literally, even you can coat this on chicken mm. and it's gonna crisp yeah. so perfectly yeah, and put it inside the, the skin the way Chef has shown us before. Huh? You marinate chicken now. Yes. Let's put, like, put it on top of the skin. Yes. Ooh. I know, and inside the little pockets of skin. Yeah. Aha. You remember? I remember. <laughs> and then you have that in the oven for a bit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It melts. It is deliciousness waiting to happen. All right, guys, now we have our um, fish going on there. We can mm. see it's flaking. Yes, and that's what we basically want. For that's now. what you want yeah, because for your pasta. The so we have yes. here the pasta sauce. Okay. It's going to add on top. In goes that pasta sauce. Oh my gosh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we'll just let it simmer. Yes. Then taste for seasoning. Mm -hmm. Kama itoshi ongeza. Okay. I can bring the sugar now. I can bring the sugar now. Because yeah, the sauce is a bit tangy. Sure. Coming up, <laughs> I will gladly do that for you, chef. Anything to do with sugar, yeah. count me in. Okay. All right, let me grab some sugar. So this is basically what you want. Claire? Mepata? Yes. Yay. So, well, let's give it a quick simmer. Maybe a pinch or two, or of course three, <laughs> and then you give it a stir. <laughs> so what does the sugar do? Uh, this is just like uh, in a toyo tanginess, your acidity, your sauce. Yes. Yeah. So, um, you have another knife? Yeah. All right, so we've got our fish cooking in here. Mm. We're going to give that a little bit of a stir just to make sure we don't have chunks of sugar they're melted up and let that cook completely mm. i'm going to taste this 
Oh, wow, that tastes good. That's all? Yeah. Okay, so give it a simmer. All right, so we're going to let that simmer for just a bit. Uh, meanwhile, let's go on a short break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back guys, this is Hot Plate. If you're just joining us, we're with Claire and today we're creating some delicious meals. Right. As you can see here, we have our snapper. Okay. Fish sauce. Snap. We snapper. got a snapper. Yeah. As you can see, we flick. Which oh, is snap. Not bad. Because we're just going to mix it with the pasta at the end. All right. Yeah, so we'll have that fishy flavor. Oh, snap. And then here we go. <laughs> Good one. And then here we have another snapper, which... Oh snap, I know <laughs> you're going to say it. <laughs> Which, if everything goes to hell, you can use that. Why it's is the, everything going to hell? No, see, maybe you wouldn't like the shredded uh, oh, fish. Oh, no, 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 nothing said, should go like to hell. Fish, no. no, 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 nothing should go to hell. Okay. We shall keep it on earth or in heaven. <laughs> That's the, those are the only two places that our food and ourselves are going. Thank so, you very much. So, pasta. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, okay, we have here some lemons. Right. So, we're just going to slice them. They're tiny, but it will do. Okay. Now, that is going to go on. I, I am all over this fish right now. Um, basically, Chef, are we putting it in here? Yeah, uh, what I want you to do... Is put on a bed of, of, of lemons? A bed of that butter. Oh, and then yes. a bed of lemons. Okay. So, oh, this lovely butter, which, by the way, we made from a lot of... Um, I put garlic, paprika, black pepper, salt, some um, some herbs, oregano, thyme, mixed herbs. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is just smear this at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Look at that loveliness. Look at all that butter. So what's going to happen is it's going to cook from the bottom, mm -hmm. have those flavors in, and we're going to come here with those lemons. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Now, this is lime. Um, so we're just going to make sure we, we're making a bed. Yani kitanda ambayo tutaka yu samaki ilali hapo tu vizuri ndo ipikike kabisa ya hadi ndani. Right? Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put that there. And remember we had seasoned our fish earlier on. So um, we're just going to make sure that we line this up. Ooh, baby. Oh my gosh, it's this. I use my hands. Gladly. Oh, thank you for taking... Hata si lazima tu smear this like... Yeah. Chunks. Mm -hmm. Because it's all gonna melt. Right, it is. Okay, so right on there. Um, chef is just gonna take, clean his hands real quick. Let me just make sure I get all this butter out. All that goodness. Yeah. Thank you. Look at you. Yeah, <laughs> that looking out. And this normally takes out things from a bowl. Like it's being washed in the sink. <laughs> Look at this goodness. These, these silicon spatulas. I'm telling you, I should get me a spatula for my for my bowl of, of chocolate bread spread, mm. right? That way I can be <laughs> I can be able to you know just clean it up at the end when imeisha yani imeisha ni safisha kabisa ni kikunye mkate angu ibi imesafisha completely. We gotta get all that butter out. No wasting. All right, and and okay. then more lemons. I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna place some lemons on top. Right. More lemons go right on top. Look at that. Whoops. Whoopsie. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, there we go. Look at how gorgeous it looks already. Oh my gosh, it looks like a cute bear. Oh, look at that little cute bear. Yeah, look, these are the arms. No, you don't, you don't see that? Is that a No, from this angle, I can see that. Oh, you have to see. Look at that cute bear. Oh, uh, like. It's such a cute bear. Yeah. No? <laughs> Okay. okay. All right. I think it looks like a cute bear. All right. Okay. So, um, into the oven at mm. one degree, chef. Uh, 180. <laughs> right. Uh, we're gonna cook it like for 13 minutes. Okay. 13 minutes, and why 13 minutes and not more? 13. 13. Mm. Why 13 minutes fish. and not more? Fish. Now you did have the pizza, but I've not seen them use them for the sauce. Which one? The tomatoes. No, the tomatoes we used for the salad. The so sauce we use... use the. Oh, so you're not going to use these tomatoes? No, no, no. We can use. It's optional. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't miss to kill it. What does it do? So. Okay. So we have our pasta. Remember, we're making a vinaigrette. It's, it's not done yet. So. It food body is okay. Oh, right. Did you taste? A little bit. Was it seasoned? Very seasoned. Add slightly more salt. Like, like, does it have more salt or? No, you need to add slightly more oh. salt. Oh. So a pinch of salt is gonna go in there. Okay. And we need to put a little bit, a splash of lemon juice. 
no. No. Yeah. Okay. So do that on that one. Ah, yes. Mm. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so we're going to go ahead. Oh, into the pasta. I thought you put the pasta in there. No, no. You okay. could do the both. But okay. 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 Give that a stir. There you go. I know. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now remember, we've got this salad here that's mm -hmm. sitting pretty, mm -hmm. meaning we are gonna make a vinaigrette for it. Mm. I am so excited about how it's gonna turn out because we're gonna get our pasta, we're gonna get our salad, we're gonna get our fish in two ways, which is gonna be our protein. I feel like fish is such a good alternative for meats and red meats and all this. It's it's actually really good in omega-3 and a lot of actual health benefits. So chef, please tell us what's gonna go into our vinaigrette. Mustard. <laughs> all right, so we have some mustard there. Now, yeah. um, what goes into the mustard for our salad? Okay, mustard, I'm gonna put some salt. Yes. Some pepper. Some sugar. Some sugar. Yes. And some, some oil. olive oil. All right. So some olive oil is going to go into that. A lot of sugar. Some garlic powder. Oh, what, did he not say that? Says a lot of sugar. Oh, why did he? Did you not say garlic powder? No. Okay. Um, some sugar, some pepper, some salt, some garlic powder, and... <laughs> 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 so if you insist yes um and some sugar is gonna go into that look at that just a pinch thank you thank you that looks good and a pinch of sugar is gonna go into that as well just to kill that zingy um flavor that you have there now i've i've, I've seen that if you have some pineapple juice or some mango juice mm. if you want to add into that vinaigrette oh my goodness it is delicious. And then you want to <laughs> skip on the sugar. So the sugar is added from the fresh mango juice or the fresh pineapple juice. Especially if you blend your pineapples. So you have that little crunch of the pineapples in there as well. It's just the perfect vinaigrette, honestly. All right, how are we looking? How are we looking with that vinaigrette? Oh. <laughs> A little bit more salt. Just slightly. There, that's enough. All right, that looks absolutely beautiful. And that's gonna go on our salad, mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. And at this point is where I'm gonna grab my two forks. And please add that in here, Chef. Well, I think we should just serve it first, you know, since it's in Kidogo. Oh, okay. I'm on an idea. Yeah, no problem. I was just gonna, you know, just roughly <laughs> so, <laughs> do that. I know right. you're going to do that. So, you want me to serve um, the salad here? Yeah. All right, so remember guys, we had said that it's a little uh, garden. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that a little bit of the tomatoes, a little bit of the onions, a little bit of the of the greens that we have there. Just make sure you get a little bit of everything generally. Uh, look at that, looking so gorgeous, looking so fresh and so clean, so tasty and crispy. All right, now we have our vinaigrette there, which I'm still gonna do what I initially had intended on doing. <laughs> Now I, That's what I, was going to do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I like my salads with flavor. Mm. I don't want to eat mafoga. Like I don't want to That's, have. I'm mean? not a rabbit. I don't want to eat just like lettuce that's plain with no mm. vinaigrette or no dressing i love my thousand islands i love my sun-dried tomatoes in there so you want to give life to your salad yeah. right and the only way you can give life to your salad is if you add dressings because you're dressing your salad then we have quite no all right so we're gonna go ahead and, <laughs> and, and, and just uh, you know continue to mix my salad um it looks gorgeous in, in the sense that it looks pretty coated with all those flavors. Mm. Yes, we've got that garlic sauce in there as well. Woo, that looks beautiful. And, and I'm guessing at this point, is this, the, is this the salad that we're gonna place the fish on? We can have that before, why not? We can have this before, mm. right? All right, as a starter. Mm. All right, so we're gonna make more vinaigrette for that salad on the side, but that's fine. We've got our pasta ready. How is our fish looking, chef? Uh, almost done. Almost done. Mm -hmm. So we've got our pasta, we've got our salad, and of course we've been having, we've been having some messages from you guys from um, uh, you know the number on the screen. So I just want to go through a few of them. So one of them is hello guys. Navile na pika naomba mgeni fundisha siko baya siko baya siko baya tuno baya uku kwenye hot plate. All you have to do is go online to see the recipes and you can learn how to do 
that. So I don't buy it. I shida. And then um, here, where can I get your recipes? Our recipes are online. That's on YouTube, Ebru TV, mm -hmm. Hot Plate. You can be able to get the recipes there. And then um, the same question is, hi, where can I get your recipe for the burger that you made yesterday? Your page is not updated. We assure you that it is updated. Get on YouTube and see those recipes. And then we have one um, here from a very, very sweet husband who is asking, um, hi, on the Hot Plate. Please allow my wife to come. She's always glued to your program. Oh, bless. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she loves cooking. Her name is Ruth from Rongai. Ruth from Rongai, we would be glad to have you on the show. Uh, please just send us a message and we'll make sure that that happens. We'll have you joining us and cooking with us. And your husband can be on set as well. That would be mm. an absolute yeah, blast. Yes, yeah. Yeah. All right, a big shout out to you guys who still keep watching Hot Plate. We appreciate you and we love you so much mm. uh, from Chef and I. So without further ado, please let me get to um, is it tasting. Right. Let me get to tasting. Sorry, I'm just going to put this away. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to start with the okay, pasta. Okay. Right. I'm going to start with the pasta. <laughs> get a little bit of that fish. Get a little bit of the pasta. You've got the pasta going on with all the flavors you've infused from the sauce. Oh, mm, that was good. Mm. <laughs> Why did you make a face? Hmm? I was surprised. Mm. <laughs> it's actually really, really good. Mm. Look at that beauty. I just tried to use a fork. Right. If it's to flaky. Just check if it's ready. Yeah, if it's and flaky, that's how you know that it's ready. Yeah. If it flakes off. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, so we can see, oh, you can smell the lemon that's coming out of yeah. there, the butter that's coming out of there as well. Delicious. You can smell the herbs that are there. Absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, I can't wait to try this. And you want to be very gentle and careful when you're pulling out your fish so that you don't break it apart. So you want to start by scraping from the bottom because, mm. woo, squeeze the, that juice Chicken right on top. It just and squeezes so easy yeah. because of the fact that the heat has made it, um, the, you know, is it hot? Sorry. Very hot. Be careful. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Just squeeze that goodness. Yes, right on top. Oh my gosh, this is so flavorful because it's soaked in that butter. It's soaked in um, the herb flavors, the garlic that we put in there as well. Mm. You want to be careful not to have those pits. Pits are not the best thing ever. Thank oh, you, what? chef, right? To bite into, especially when they're hot. Um, we're and we're going to place that on plate? the plate. Sure. We're going to place this on a plate. Um, we've got lemons at the bottom as well. Mm. Um, so you want to be able to take those out. Are you going to flip it? Oh, it's going to break. Be careful. Are you going to flip it? Yes, so that we can take off the lemons. Let's go, sir. All right. So what we're going to do Ooh, is... Nah, it's okay. Place, it's okay. We're going to place that there. That's fine. <laughs> and look at that. A moment of truth is here. So basically, what we're going to do is just show you just how perfectly cooked this is. Oh yes, we've got the flavors with the butter, with the herbs, looks absolutely amazing. Oh wow, you have the lemon kicking in. Um, we've got the creaminess of the butter and of course the herbs that you put in there. How good is that? Mm. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. That's actually a fish that I can enjoy in terms of a fillet. <laughs> so tender. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really good. That is amazing. And of course, keep those inboxes coming on the number that we provided on the screen. And let us know just how easy this recipe was. That's it for tonight. I'm Claire Karatu. And I'm Chef Bennett. <laughs> Have a lovely night. Good night, guys. <laughs>